Welcome everyone to the Daily Juice Podcast on the Betting Pros Network. I'm your host, Sean, stacking the money green. Give me a follow on Twitter at Sean T. Green. And as always, Daily Juice being brought to you by BetMGM. Use the promo code JUICE. Get a risk-free bet up to $1,000 on first deposit. Oh, man. Tale of two halves, and the second half was a disaster for the picks. Come on. This is one of the most frustrating slates in a long time. I mean, if I'm going to get my ass kicked, then just let me get my ass kicked. Don't keep having good first halves and then completely falling apart. All right. One and four. And again, tail of two halves. The second half was a disaster, uh, but we do have some NBA picks to bail us out uh, for tonight's slate. We'll get to that and uh, NFL right around the corner. Got some, got some anytime touchdown stuff. I like uh, some fun tight end stuff. Maybe some, I don't know. I, I I'm already knee deep in wild card weekend, but uh, got a couple days till we get to that. All right. Getting through the slate, get the losers out of the way. Unfortunately, there were four of them. Money line round Robin didn't hit, even though all the teams are looking good. Like I said, in the first half, Arkansas uh, plus one and a half. They, you know, they were tied at half, or maybe they were up by a couple of points. Minus fifteen in the second half at home. At home, and I this one. You know, if I'm doing self scouting, if I'm like grading the film on myself on these picks. Sean, you got to stay away from Alabama because this Alabama basketball team, every time I think I got them figured out, every time I think I know the spot, they just uh, beat me up. So I, I, and when I bet on them, they lose. Like I, 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 I'm sure you guys are the same way where they're just some teams when you're on them, they're off. When you're uh, fading them, they're on. I can't get, I can't figure this Alabama team out. I think, I do think they're good, but, um, it, they're just not consistent. So I thought this was a good spot. Navy minus five and a half probably got a little cute here. Like I said, my Lehigh bias uh, has me faded Lafayette. Some are calling this the worst uh, naval disaster since the U- USS Indianapolis, which was um, a horrible, horrible uh, U.S. naval disaster. But Navy again. They were, they were up in the first half minus 13 in the second half. They were favorites. You lose outright embarrassing Navy. Come on, get it together. Cal plus 11 and a half. Again, I, they were down one. Okay. Perfect spot. Now in, in hindsight, some of the like Cal, I should have, if I was playing the letdown spot, I probably should have just played the first half because Washington state after halftime got, to, got it together and just destroyed Cal in the second half. So maybe on some of these spots, especially where I'm getting cute, betting on crap teams like Cal uh, with a big number. Yeah. Maybe look to just play the first half. I think that's, that's a, that's a positive takeaway in the self scouting session. This is one of those. It's not quite burn the film. You know, it, when those losses happen, coaches like, we're not going to look at the film. We're going to burn the film. I, uh, the, the visual of as someone actually burning game film is pretty funny. I don't know if anyone's ever done that. Uh, maybe Roger Goodell in Spygate. Still haven't found those tapes, Roger. All right. Uh, well, the pick that hit though, TCU plus six and a half, and even that they were up forty two twenty nine in the first half. They should have won that game. They end up losing. They did cover uh, to save some credibility for uh, my picks there. They lost seventy five to seventy nine. They almost blew the six and a half. All right, here we go. Moving over to the hardwood. We were just on the hardwood, Sean. Hey, get out of my head. All right. uh, We're talking NBA, the association Celtics at nets over on a bet. MGM taking the Celts minus two and a half. You know, this is kind of uh, some TMZ handicap in here, but no Kevin Durant. Uh, You got to fade the nets. And, and normally when I'm, when I'm handicapping a team loses a big star, you like them that first game, right? It's a get up spot. They rally around. Hey, no Kevin Durant. We got this. Don't worry. But I think, I think this is different because of how red hot the Celtics are. Uh, they've won four in a row after getting destroyed by the thunder. And we were on the thunder in that game. Uh, the spread is really low because of the rest disparity situation we got going on here. This is a Celtics third game in four nights, but they kind of seem to plan for this nets game. Uh, they arrested a couple guys uh, before they got into this game, but Really, the the stat I stumbled upon was Boston actually does really well with limited rest. They're six and zero 
on uh, no rest or limited rest. I think it's just uh, back to backs there. So six and zero. Oh. Either way, some teams can handle the no rest or limited rest, and uh, the Celtics certainly are one of them. Nets, you look at last year when uh, Durant was injured for those twenty three games uh, with the sprain, five and eighteen. So. I, this Nets team is better than last year's team. And, you know, maybe Cam Thomas uh, shows up for the Nets and carries them. That's certainly a possibility. I mean, if you played Cam Thomas over uh, player prop on points, I don't hate that. But the Celtics really have seemed to figure out their offense. I think they're going to get up for this game. I think there's a little, uh, it's probably a couple guys in the Celtics who still aren't huge Kyrie fans, I would say. So Celtics minus two and a half. Uh, getting uh, getting back to some homer action. Thunder at the Sixers. Give me the Sixers minus nine. Now, the Sixers, at least early in the season, kind of were playing down to uh, their competition. I don't think they're going to here. They just got Embiid back. A uh, really good tune-up game against the Pistons. And again, the Sixers at home, sixteen and seven ATS. Harden, I think, has found his role as a distributor. He's getting some triple doubles. Sixers defense, now that they got Embiid back, um, they've been really good and just good at home in general. They're third in the league at home uh, defense. And, you know, Oklahoma City Thunder, They we got the cover against the Heat, and I didn't even mention it on the recap, but the Heat hit a historic 40 for 40 from the free throw line. I, I, you could say we're pretty fortunate to get the cover, but then also like the thunder were playing a pretty good game. Weird, weird kind of looking back on that, but just things don't seem to be breaking the thunders way. Uh, they're on a big road trip here and a tough road trip. Like they're playing a lot of, uh, some of these tougher Eastern conference teams. I could see them fading here in the second half, especially if the Sixers get out to a lead, I could see the thunder packing it in. So give me my Philadelphia 76ers minus seven. Last pick of the slate, Cavs at Portland. I'm taking the Trailblazers here, plus three as a home dog over on Bet MGM. I think this could kind of be a letdown spot for Donovan Mitchell. I mean, he goes out, he gets 46 points in Utah. Kind of, hey, a homecoming. Look at, look at me. I got the 46 points, and they still couldn't get the win. And again, I like fading this Cavs team on the road. Maybe I'm going to the well one more, one too many times, but. 8 and 12 straight up, 7 12 and 1 ATS. Portland, they're really good at home. 10 and 6 ATS and 4 and 1 ATS as a home dog like they are here. Portland plus 3. Lillard is a little banged up. I think this line reflects that he's probably not going to play, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's ruled out if the line jumps up a couple points. Either way, I like Lillard yeah, I like Lillard. And if the number goes down, I would, as long as they're a dog, I would say one and a half and up. I'm on Portland. If he's playing, if he's ruled out, hopefully we get it to like four, four and a half, but I kind of like where we're at here uh, with the three and uh, Cavs are one of those teams where they're exceeding expectations in some ways, but they're not quite to the, is a team you can trust as a road favorite. I don't think the Cavs are there yet. I guess if you're, you were making a case for the Cavs, you'd say, Hey, they're a desperate team. They really need this win coming off that loss. But I think that loss again, I think Donovan Mitchell was saving a very big game for his former team. He got that very big game and still didn't get the dub. So I think this is a letdown spot for them in Portland. So give me the Portland trailblazers plus three over on bet MGM. Give me the Sixers minus nine over on DK. Give me the Celtics lane two and a half at the Brooklyn Nets over on Bet MGM. And of course, while you're over there in Bet MGM, use a promo code JUICE. Get that $1,000 risk free bet on sign up. Follow us on TikTok at Betting Pros. Follow me on Twitter at Sean T. Green. Uh, check out my other podcast, the Sports Gambling Podcast. Just did an AFC NFC playoff picks podcast. Uh, with the uh, NFC picks podcast, got Brandon Jacobs on. So if you're a Giants fan, he always uh, he always loves talking a bunch of smack, and he really hates the Cowboys. So you know, even though he is a Giant, um, I share the mutual hatred of the Dallas Cowboys. Hey, you guys know what to do: subscribe, rate, and review. And as always, don't forget to let it ride.